are going to where I work, uh, the VCDC office. Come with me. My colleague Jenny, she's very busy with her meeting. Oh, these are my colleagues. They are perhaps have very hot discussion. Hi, Ella. The best part of my work is are actually my colleagues and they are all very experienced and including my manager and I can learn a lot. The other explorers, Anton, Mark and Nana, are in downtown Shanghai waiting for Cherie. I'm very happy to show them the city uh, and there are uh, a lot of exciting things here actually. I'm so looking forward to it. Four new employees at Volvo Cars were given a mission. Together, they will explore our company from the inside. Anton, Cherie, Mark and Nana have had a tight schedule exploring China. First, they visited the plant in Daxing. Then the journey continued to the R&D center in Shanghai. In Shanghai, they also got to see a Chinese charging station and talked to Mr. Shui Fang about the electric vehicle market in China. Number one is a word. Yeah. In this episode, they will learn more about how Volvo Cars meets its customers. But before they leave China, Mark and Nana get to meet Dorothy, owner of a V60 Polestar, who explains why she's chosen a Volvo. How are you? Good. Overall, are you happy with the car? Of course I am. <laughs> I really enjoy the speeding up. When I was a child, I loved Formula One very much, so that's why I chose performance cars for the car. Do you like any other uh, Volvo models? Uh, V90 Cross Country. Oh. oh. Why do you like that car? Big choice. Because I love wagon. That's a great answer. So that's why I chose V16 Polestar. Yeah. It's, it's a car, it's a wagon, and also a sporting car. She told me she bought the Polestar because it was a very different vehicle. Uh, not a lot of people, especially in the Asia Pacific market, have a car like that. Um, Volvo is a very unique brand, uh, and the Polestar is even a more unique car. So what do you associate Volvo brand with? Uh, two keywords. The first one is safety, as we all know, and the second one is innovation. And the innovation includes uh, design and uh, innovative technologies in all Volvo cars, I think, yeah. Oh, she's very fun. She's a fan of performance cars. She wants a car that has the speed, the sound and everything. And I think she, uh, she also likes that the Volvo is very safe. And then she said that it's a unique brand that cares about the customers in a different way uh, than a lot of the other companies that are large out here. So that was good to hear as well. She can obviously buy a faster car or a more expensive car, um, but it really connected with her on a different level. And I think that's what uh, was really special about uh, us talking about her reason for buying the car and her being a Volvo customer. To find out more about how we can make our customers feel special, the explorers leave China for the United States. Yes, it's great to be back here in the United States. And I'm excited to show them around a little bit. A lot of people. And meanwhile, I feel a little bit similar as in Shanghai, but much more louder. Perhaps it's because of the uh, helicopter. Yeah, I've, uh, Mark told us that me. Yeah, like this. <laughs> now I can check my hat out of my bucket list. So, great. After a quick tour in New York, the explorers go to Volvo Cars USA headquarters in Rockley. Hi there, welcome to Rockley. The explorers meet Bob Jacobs. 
and Tan, great to meet you. Nice to meet I know you guys are going to be spending a couple of days learning a little bit about kind of what uh, the offline, online, uh, digital world and how we how we uh, sell cars to uh, to our consumers. You know, in that in that space, people are spending like 14 hours researching a car and and then really only visiting one or two dealers before they buy. And so, for us, it's very important that we present ourselves as a brand to in the online space to, to these consumers and, and kind of win their uh, you know affinity. To see an as, example as, of how we approach our customers in the online world, Anton and Mark visit the customer care team in Rockley. Basically, you show interest in a vehicle and someone from our leads team would contact you. They'd talk you through, give your answers on the car, and then when it comes to the actual order, I would be with you for the duration of your order until your car is delivered. We would build it together, work on your price, delivery, and really any other questions you might have. Maureen is about to call a customer who recently bought a car with help from the customer care team. Anton and Mark are invited to listen in. Want to make the phone call? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Just listen in. <laughs> We got to listen into the phone call from a loyal customer. I think he had like 15 Volvo cars in the past and he was so happy with his new car. He was enjoying the relationship also with getting a call from Volvo and I mean that warms my heart. They were having like a friendship relationship almost, Volvo and the customer and that's really good. Oh thank you so much, you have a nice day, safe flight, bye bye. What did you think? Wow, that was great. Yeah, you were so happy over the Volvo, so. Yeah. Sharia Nana's mission today is to visit the Volvo Pride training event in Connecticut, a place where our retailer staff learn how to elevate the customer experience. Please turn left in a quarter of a mile onto US 1. Maybe we get to sell a car to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> See how our convincing skills yeah. are. Hi, welcome. And what we're going to do is walk down the hall in just a couple minutes. You guys are going to join a class that's already started. It's a class in the class with you. You'll have uh, sales consultants from the Northeast area in the U.S. So it'll be a mix of sales consultants, general managers, greeters, anyone who works at one of our stores who deals with customers on a daily basis. So we just had a training that Volvo offers for the dealers to identify the different customers based on their personality. Like how they are, are they people who are more family oriented or people who are just direct, they want their product and leave. So that you know, the dealer can adapt to how the person is, to their personality. So that if somebody who is very direct wants their car and go, you don't go chit chatting and delaying their time. That way, you know, you can save them best. And then we have happy customers. And happy customers means more product sold. It's very helpful to identify different kind of people with different personality and also to, to tell them that you need to treat customers in the way they want to be treated. The day continues with a class focused on the delivery of the car to the customer. Before they leave Connecticut, they summarize the day together with Mark Gaynor. So how did you feel about this training session? I think it was cool. It's no longer the, you know, a lot of paperwork and you have checklists go through. It's like every one of us get an iPad. It's very cool. I like it. The purpose for today was really to bridge the online and the offline, bringing in retailers from across the country, taking the concept of what the consumer experience is online and making it just the same in an offline fashion. So as the consumers enter our showrooms, the brand experience is a cohesive, unified manner. Back in Rockley, Anton and Mark get to watch when Caitlin at the customer care team chats with visitors on the website. So um, we just had a, a customer here. He's actually signing off. He was interested in, um, in ordering. Oh, we have another one. So just going to, you know, start some conversation with him first. And then we got to uh, see a live chat with a person who had some questions about the car. So he was considering XC90 or V90. Oh, they're going to place an order. Looks ah. like Morian's going to get an order today. Well done. And it took a few minutes going from a couple of questions to now I'm going to order a new Volvo. It's like, that's fantastic. After a busy first day in the United States with lots of insights about our new customers, 
the explorers gather to share their experiences. It's very interesting to see both uh, the, how we treat customers in China and in USA. It's amazing that we have the solution for different kind of customers and we treat people in, in the way that we, they would like to be treated. After visiting both China and US, it becomes clear that people are not only visiting retailers today to buy cars. It's also important to have an online presence, an offline presence, and to take care of the customer after a purchase. Uh, we've gotten to see the different hierarchies and levels at which we really serve the customer and get them the cars that they need uh, in a way that's going to really make us a premium luxury brand. And for me, it's really nice to see that uh, from a global perspective. It's a taste of little bits and pieces of what we all work together to do.